So I finally went and got some more Gorilla Tape. We're gonna go ahead and tape up the bottles that Adelaide has washed and hopefully they're dry. I guess we'll need to make sure they're dry. Then tape them up and then we're gonna try to get at least one little bottle window done. We don't have a lot of time before the sun goes down, but we'll see what we can do. Good morning. Today, before we get started on the dome, a local company reached out and is like, can you cut my wine bottles? I was like, yes, I can cut your wine bottles for you. So they're gonna sand them and make them into drinking glasses. I wish I had a sander to do that, but I don't. So I'm gonna cut them for them, package them back up, and then we can get started on our project. Okay, that didn't take too long. Just over an hour, got all the bottles cut. We're gonna package them up and uh, that way they can come pick them up. But let's go get started on our projects. We got a special package in the mail yesterday that we need to open and more bottle bricks. Okay, we are going to open these packages we got from cubic mini wood stove. So the little dome is gonna be heated in the winter with this tiny wood stove. It heats up to 200 square feet and the dome is only 65 square feet. So this should be perfect. We do need to do a first burn. So when we set this up, we need to set it outside and we're gonna burn it for about 30 hours and that will help the paint adhere to the stove itself and it will help like get rid of any toxic fumes. We are going to set it up, get it going so that we can go work on our bottle bricks. Yum Yum is very excited. You want a wood stove? Mm -hmm. So cute. Okay. It's adorable. I don't know what all these functions are for, but we're gonna find out. All right, so we got it all put together. We are going to take it up to the Airstream because we have a flat surface up there. We're gonna go cut some little pieces of wood and get this started on the burning process.
that wood stove is probably the cutest wood stove I've ever seen in my life. Um, Ada's is going to be in charge of keeping it going. We need to burn at least 30 hours over the course of the next few days. So Ada's is going to keep the supply there and Adela and I are going to go work on the dome. Okay, I've got a huge wheelbarrow full of AB Max. We're gonna be sifting out the rock. All the sand and clay will fall behind the sifter and we'll take it back over there, make our mix and start installing some bottles. So it's kind of funny doing bottle work with Adelaide because she's even more picky than I am. And I love it because look at that. She's making it look so cool. So um, we have a few too many dark bottles. So we're gonna go ahead and go cut some more clear and put together some more bottles to finish out these little windows. And then maybe we'll even have time to work on above the door. Now I just have to clean all these bottles, get them dried and tape them up, and then we can finish these windows. It's taking a little longer than I planned on, but everything's fine. It's gonna turn out really good. And then we have all these bottles cut. We're probably gonna try to just get two rows in and let it dry and then come back tomorrow and finish up. But let's get started. Haven't we made it, my love? Oh, honey, look how we made it this far. Hasn't the pace been a long bit, honey? But take a look at where we are. Haven't we made it, my love? Oh, honey, look how we made it. that back there and over there it's been raining all morning so we haven't been able to get outside and work so there's a break in the rain I'm gonna sift some soil I think we're gonna work on the inside of the dome because I don't think it's done raining so let's work on the inside while the weather's bad we recently met up with some friends who found some things at a uh, like a thrift store for us Check these out. 
Metal sifters, like they're made to be used as sifters. Different size holes. This is gonna be perfect. We're just gonna sift some soil into a wheelbarrow, make our mix and get some mud on the walls. Decided that we're only going to do this one batch of mix because this is a different mix than we usually use. I want to see how it dries tomorrow. So we'll just get all of this mix onto the cracks, um, just the one mix, and come back and look at it tomorrow. We may have to do some adjustments on our measurements, but we'll find out tomorrow. why we can't have nice clothes. So this is why you always see us in dirty, dirty clothes. But we have our first batch on. I'm not convinced on this batch, but we're gonna see what it looks like tomorrow. It's, I think I had too much, uh, too much straw and maybe not enough sand, but we'll see tomorrow. We are back at the dome. Yeehaw. Yeah, I don't know why you keep wearing that hat because we're not gonna get any work done when you have that on. You bought it for me. Big mistake. <laughs> Today we um, are working on the exterior stucco again because we only have this week of good weather left. Now you may remember about this time last year, we were in the process of trying to figure out exterior plaster on all of our buildings because they were all failing and we were practicing stucco on the chicken guard mm -hmm. and then it got cold and we had to stop yeah so this week we have really good temperatures so we're going to try our hardest to get this exterior locked down yeah i mean if we don't get it done now then we're going to have to basically wait until spring yeah we which don't want to do good. that no we want to get at least the outside covered to where we can paint elastomeric on it and then we can go focus on the inside mm -hmm. take our time doing that but yeah, yeah we got to take advantage of this last sort of spurt of warm weather <laughs> and try to get this stucco done one thing we're going to be working on today uh, that we actually built a while back is a vent so um, before Hayden left he basically chopped out a whole section of bag that we're going to stick this through we probably should have laid around it but there's a workshop and there's lots going on it's just simpler to come back and add it later so this is a four inch pipe we added a coupler with some uh some of that no cm screen and some metal screen on it so this is just in here that's keeping anything from getting inside on the other end we found this little ac powered uh two-way vent fan so it's got a little remote we can either pull the air out or we can i guess 
pull the air in or pull the air out of the building and we'll just use the window on the opposite side to kind of make that happen. So as we're doing the exterior plaster today, we need to get this set in place, plaster around it and get it to hold um, so that we can seal up around it. So, Hyper W bags are very different. These definitely uh, kind of fray and come apart. And so when Hayden took his hammer and crowbar and pounded through here, we got all these little these pieces left that are kind of in the way that we don't want to be super loose because then they're not going to plaster in well. So I'm just trying to clean this up a little bit and get a lot of these little flyaway pieces off um, before we start plastering this in. Yep, had to tape up the end. Wanted to make sure we didn't get any of this plaster inside this vent fan, because once it gets in, not gonna be a good way to get it out. So the main goal today, you may remember when we first started putting this plaster on with Hayden, he took like a two by four and he found the highest bags. And so that was this bag and this bag. So that meant that they stuck out too far. And so we've been slowly building up and this hopefully will be the last layer that we use to finally cover this bag and fill in that amount all the way up to there so that we have a nice smooth dome shape. We'll see. Maybe we might need one more layer, but I'm hoping we can get it in this one. One thing that's super important to remember is when you're working around windows and doors to make everything slant to where the water will run off and not like go back into your window. I mean, it seems pretty obvious, but some people just don't think about it. So there's your reminder. Well, I think it's going pretty good, don't you? It is, it's going good. And it warmed up, so it's nice. We're in t-shirts. I can't believe it. It's December and we're in t-shirts. I was a little worried when we started, it was cold. Yeah, it was pretty cold. But then it warmed up. So, I mean, we're pretty much done with the bottom half other than the 
buttresses. Right. Uh, and then, yeah, we still have... From windows up. Windows up. Um, I still don't... I can't tell if this is going to be the final before the lath and the stucco. I can't tell because there's still some spots that kind of dip in. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. We'll just see how We it might goes. fix it with the stucco. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Guys, you're on this journey with us. Yes, you are. Well, uh, we're going to go grab some lunch. Yeah. And then we'll be back. Okay. Wouldn't it be nice if we could, like, go somewhere and grab lunch? Yep, but that's not an option. Nope. All right, we're back from lunch. We're going to do some more plaster. Are you ready? I can't decide if I'm hot or cold. I know. It was hot earlier. Now I'm cold again. It's definitely, yeah, like it's warm in the sun and then the wind blows. The wind and, is the problem. And then it's like, oh man, maybe I should get my jacket on. And then you put your jacket on and, and then hot. the wind stops and you're like, oh man, it's really hot. And, and then you have concrete all over your hands and you can't <laughs> yeah. do anything. So I'm going to go up high because you don't want to get up on the dome, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to work on the Hyper Adobe benches. Is that the plan? Uh, I think I'm going to do buttresses first and then oh, benches. Yeah. Okay. So kids are coming out. Butts first, then benches. Butts first, always. Close are we to finishing for the day? I'd really like to get the top half done. Yeah. But I know you're about finished. Oh, my gloves are off. I'm done. <laughs> it's just okay. getting too cold and we gotta get the dogs out. We gotta clean up before yeah. sun goes down. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, let's get this mix done and then going. see yeah. how much longer. Is there one more batch? Let's make one more Do you want them to? <laughs> I mean, I'll use it. Last one. Thank you. Break down all the lights, let me hold you close. 
Babe, I don't know about you, but I think that dome right there for the fireplace is the best looking part of this whole building. It's, it's pretty nice, yeah. It does look really good. With the little eight inch Hyper Adobe bags. It's so cute. Here comes trouble. Someone's taking over your spot. <laughs> hey, <sighs> we got a lot done today. Why not? You have stucco in your beard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guys, we got that whole thing covered well, except the buttresses and some of the red bags, but we got a really good coat on there. So here's what we're not sure about. We're not sure if this mix is gonna work for the Hyper WX, which yeah, is weird. It's falling off quite a bit. And usually when we do stucco over mm -hmm. Hyper Adobe, it's the bag with a lot of the fiberglass in it. But even just cob sticks to it. Cause we've done cob chinking. Yeah. We've done a lot of different chinking coats. Haven't ever had any problem with anything sticking to it. I do think maybe um, this, the concrete sand that we're using is a lot bigger grain. It's too coarse. It's um, yeah. heavier material, so yeah. that might be an issue. I don't know. We, we did a little test. We're going to see how well it sticks tomorrow. Yeah. If not, we'll just cover it with something different, or we'll just go straight stucco over that when we start doing the final cut. Yeah, since we know that works. Yeah. So we have lots more to do, but it was a very productive day. Well, yeah, and we're, we're a big step closer to actually drying this thing in. Uh, we've only got a few more coats on it. I mean, well, yeah, and I got to finish like put the bottles to like really be sealed up. Yeah, right. Really close. Getting there. Yep. We're getting there, guys. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time.